I'm finally going to do something on the mentally ill because I think something should be done and talked about. I think the federal government should build more places for the mentally ill than they build prisons. The prisons are full, full of mentally ill patients and they can force a mentally ill person in prison and then not and then say you don't have to take, take your medication and they're mentally ill. And then I don't think, you know, although they say that's sort of right, because the Germans forced people to take uh, medicines that made them do things, I think that if they can force you to go to prison because you did something because you were mentally ill, they should, you know, and you're in prison because you're mentally ill, they should be able to get you to go out of the, out of the prison into a safer place, like a group home where they can watch it may not be a prison, but have locked doors where they, and it's not right that they force you to take medication, but in most instances, the medication makes you sane, where you're crazy without it, where they, and then they say they can't make you take medication, but you know, you were in order to get out of prison, and they know you're crazy without it, and they know it makes you better, and they know they can get you into a situation where you probably can't get out of it, out of the out of the group home or whatever, and they can get you to take the medication, and you say that you'll leave the prison and agree to take the medication if you leave the prison, and then maybe put you somewhere in the group home with, uh, with other individuals and be sane taking the medication. I think we ought to build group homes or whatever you want to call it, that's just one word, where we can take all these people out of prison and give them medication to where they're sane. Not all medications make you sane, but it helps a lot of people to where they're not mentally ill and then they may refuse to take it occasionally, but then you can always say we're going to send you back to prison where they might just realize or, you know, a group of people can talk them into it and say you're, you're wacko or whatever. That's not the right word. That's a, that's a prejudice word, but other people around them can see that uh, the medicine helps and can talk them into doing it or taking it because other people can see the medicine helps them either, either and, and other people that take it and get back to being normal can see that they're not sane when they're not taking it and talk them into taking it to be normal when they're in the group home and get them, keep them from going to prison because prison is not a nice place to be, I think. I've never been in one. But when they're in group home, it's a more friendly environment. They get more freedoms. And when they're in the group home, they could probably get a, a, a I don't know, like a, not some, a, an allowance. They wouldn't necessarily have to work, but they could get an allowance where they could buy stuff and uh, have, have more freedom. And they could get an allowance being in the group home. They wouldn't have to work for it. But they could get, get an allowance, you know, depending on what crime they did, they could be forgiven because they were mentally ill at the time when they did the crime. And once they got into the group home and got on medication and could be, be proven to be more sane, they wouldn't necessarily be put out into the community, but they could be proven once they, on the, they were on the medication to be more sane, they could be given an allowance and be given more freedom to get, get more stuff and have a better lifestyle and be in the, in the group home and have more freedom and not necessarily put out in the community, but be able to walk around the community and let back in the group home as long as they weren't a, a flight risk. And that's like in the winter time, you may put them up, I don't know about Alaska, but when it's 40 below, you might not be that big of a flight risk when you got a warm meal and a, and a warm bed. You might not be that big of a flight risk if you got a warm meal 
and a place to go, you might not be that big of a flight risk because you know you got a warm bed and all you have to do is go there and take a couple of pills and a lot of them take pills anyways. That's why they're mentally ill because they took too many of them. And they just take enough to make them sane. They might, you, know, you could let them out occasionally just to, just to be with people. And I think the federal government should build as many group homes or more. They got so many jail cells. They can build a bedroom for each person in each jail cell in a group home and have a supervisor, an employee supervisor. Maybe some of the people that's mentally ill once they're taking the medicine could be a supervisor in a group home and have a job and earn a salary, a good salary, and no longer be a prisoner. And like when their time's up, stay in a group home and be, uh, be a working member of society and be employed at the group home watching after a mentally ill and be taking their medicine and not be mentally ill. And it's just a thought, but I think the government should build more uh, places for the mentally ill and not build prisons. They should, because most of the people in the prisons are mentally ill. That's what I've heard on the news. And they wouldn't be mentally ill if they took medicine. I know it helps. Thank you. Bye.